Okay, let's get started. Today I'm going to be using Visual Studio 2013. Um, you can use Visual Studio 2012 or 2013 if you like. If you don't have those, um, you can go to Microsoft and download Visual Studio Express 2012. Um, this is a free product, and uh, if you go to the Platform Installer, just go to Google, type in Platform Installer, you'll find it. You install that, and then you can install the Web Includes for that, the Web SDK, and that will give you a SQL Express Local Edition and IIS Express, which you'll use to, for your web hosting needs. So that'll all be free. Um, so get that set up, and then we'll get started. Let's go ahead and create our first MBC4 web app. So we select New Project, uh, ASP.NET MBC4 web application. We're going to write in Visual C Sharp. So we'll select that and we'll come down here and we'll just call this Hello World. And I'm going to go ahead and take the default location. You could, of course, put this anywhere you want. Go ahead and click OK. Then we're asked to select a template. And uh, if you select any of these, it'll give you a basic idea of what you're getting. We could go with an empty template and build it out ourselves. I'm going to go ahead and select Internet Application. Um, the Internet Application template has a default home page, about page, contact page, and the ability to log you on and off. So there's quite a bit there we can talk about and work with. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take that, save us time. Um, Okay, next they want us to select a, a view engine. Um, a view engine in MVC is a component that produces HTML, which the HTML which will be returned to the browser. Uh, the default view engine in uh, MVC4 is Razor, and so we're going to go ahead and select that. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take a unit test, uh, create a unit test project with this um, application. It'll be named Hello World tests and it'll use the Visual Studio unit test framework. So we'll go ahead and click OK. This will take a little while. Now, while we're doing that, I want to talk a little about uh, NuGet um, because uh, some of the things that are going to be put into the project um, that we're done here um, You'll see, for instance, uh, there are little pieces that make up the project, like jQuery, jQuery UI. They'll all be added with the, as NuGet packages. Um, and the NuGet package manager makes it easy to update them in the future. So when we have new versions of jQuery and we want to get the latest, we can use the NuGet uh, packet, package manager to update that for us. And so we'll go over that. Um, so here we are. We're actually looking at the home controller here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run this, and um, we can come back later, and then we'll talk about the code. But let's go ahead and run this. OK. OK, here we are. Uh, that was pretty quick. And you'll see we're running from localhost here on uh, this port number that's randomly assigned. And uh, we have a full working application here. We can go to the home page, which we're at here, about. You'll see there's a little nav area here. We could go to the contact page. And we can register and log in. So it's it, it's a, kind of a boilerplate, simple MVC application that starts uh, out here, starts us out. Um, let's go ahead and take a look. Let's do a view source. And I want to highlight some of the things that we're going to see here uh, in the markup. Um, so you see, um, uh, it starts out you know, with the HTML5 doc type. Um, and it uses best practices, HTML5 best practices. That uh, Here's one of uh, setting the language. Another one of setting the char set. These are very important for HTML5 valid documents or applications. Um, so what else? Let's see, uh, viewport. This is uh, an important tag here. Um, this tells mobile browsers that we will adapt to them and um, that you know uh, we'll display in the proper size of, uh, for that mobile browser. Without this tag, the mobile browser will attempt to display the page at its full size, which 
ends up rendering it in, in way too many pixels and width and height, and uh, everything is way too small to even be clicked on without, you know, uh, increasing its size, um, zooming up. Um, so, you know, we're going to be creating uh, mobile-ready code here, so we want to tell the mobile browser about that. Um, next thing you see here is um, Modernizer, and this is a JavaScript library which is going to adapt older browsers like IE uh, 6, for instance, which were built before HTML5 was available. Um, we've got some things you'll see here like header and section and nav, and these are all new tags that came in with HTML5, and the older browsers just don't know what to do with those tags. They're going to typically ignore them, and uh, what Modernizer will do for us is it'll uh, pre-process that and uh, allow this code to work correctly in those older uh, browsers. So it's good to see that MVC4 is keeping up with the latest HTML5 standards. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and close the browser and return to Visual Studio. And we can talk more about the MVC code that generated this markup.